Yo, what is good, my anime people? Sorry about the sound in the beginning, my anime people. <laughs> um, but the shield hero is here, and I am cosplaying as both shield hero and the sword because I use sword and shield. See what I did there? Giggity. Um, but this week's episode, guys, we are getting quite a bit of information about just who else has some of the most power in this whole entire nation or just in the world of the people who have summoned the heroes and we learn a lot about the queen this week which was actually pretty cool um, because to be fair we definitely needed a character that wasn't totally 1000 percent against the hero uh the hero with the shield so it was nice to see someone actually taking an account, you know, if things went negative, they would at least, you know, try to help him out. And that was the case. We have another case of the spear hero, which I don't understand why. I bet he, the spear hero could be a better character if he just actually paid attention to all of the simple details that... Um, practically tell him that the person is cheating easily so uh i think his character is being completely destroyed just because of one person he's following along with blindlessly even though he's supposed to be the hero that saves everybody he's following someone else's lead this whole time since we've ever seen him so I don't understand why he's such a follower, but we might get more into his back. We might get more backstory of these characters of the heroes and what they were doing because we know everything about our character and what his home life was like. So it's kind of funny that we didn't learn anything about the other ones and seemingly they showed up in almost every episode, you know, so um it feels like it's only a matter of time before we learn just what the other characters are all about, like what they've been through, what, you know, kind of makes them the reason why they're not the shield heroes and stuff like that. I don't know, but um, I wouldn't mind learning about some of them because after they even called out the treachery, which it's clear as day, it's people who are new to the world and haven't seen magic on a daily basis can call out that someone was cheating and using magic but people who live in this world and seen this magic day in and day out weren't gonna say nothing <laughs> so yeah it's the show definitely knows how to bring the evil out of me i actually got so mad i i said kill these people and i spit all over my phone so i had to like literally wipe the <laughs> spit the anger spit off of my phone i i just hate these characters in here and the way that they hold themselves it's like watching a whole bunch of nobles in an anime and them just hating on my main character like i i just can't i can't do it sometimes i'm going to lose it okay i'm just a normal human all right i'm not some heartless noble in this anime i have i have feelings okay um but yeah so we get into all of that the one thing that was kind of weird of a direction that i didn't expect this week's episode to go was the whole entire race overall like it, it does make sense because of his new comrade that he's going to call um he's going to be calling the new person in the group a comrade so um that, that's pretty cool, but we've already seen this person in the openers multiple times. Well, I have, because I unfortunately pay attention to the opener. Um, but we do know that this girl who is a bird and just transformed into like a... She kind of has like a demi-human form or something. Which uh, brings me to my next question. How many monsters out there can start leveling up or are already human humanoid looking and can get even more human by the time that they spin or something with a human or level up uh what what is how many are there like how many more <laughs> species can do this because i thought it was unique for the raccoons and 
demi-humans to just look like that, but I guess she would probably fall under the category of demi-human. Um, which is actually really funny how all of these really cute girls are ending up on his side because last time I checked, he wanted a cute girl and she turned it up being, you know, the, the main villain of the show. So it's just funny to me that now that he pretty much was betrayed by a pretty girl and she's gone off doing whatever she wants. Now these two pretty girls are here on his side and they pretty much are one thinks that you know well maybe she doesn't think it it for sure because I don't know for sure but one thinks that that's uh, the shield heroes her father slash master already so um, I'm not sure since she's calling him master and not like father or papa or something she clearly knows she's like um, working for him and not so much related to him so that was an interesting turn of events or she's maybe just saying master because she didn't know what else to call him like she didn't know what to say to him, like call a mom or dad and just went with master i don't know um but seeing how cute she turned out to be and how naked she turned out to be uh he's pretty lucky um not to mention his raccoon girl is pretty uh pretty insanely cute ever since she's been leveling up and getting older so i don't know where this story could go in the future with these three characters now but if anything i have a good feeling that he might not um he might not notice the changes again like you might not notice uh one girl be jealous of the other because he treats one differently than the other or something, you know. That these are the types of things that we can look forward to with our character <laughs> failing one girl and succeeding the other one. Uh just in the future. I mean we they said we had months to go by and within two days uh of the bird hatching she straight up is like full adult bird or like teenage bird and then once they win the race uh she becomes the full the full adult like version of herself in the bird form uh that we kind of see in the openers and stuff so i would be very surprised if she can <clears throat> still grow like get bigger um I mean, that that would be crazy, but at the same time, the one thing that truly had my attention was the fact that, um, you know, they're even playing, like, this anime is even playing on the tropes of, like, motion sickness, and um, they're doing, they had the, uh, the princess is pretty much, like, I don't even know what to say about her. She's straight up trying to charge poor people or like villagers her own people uh entry and leaving fees which i think she was trying to be a smart one and um, all the people that pretty much leave the village or they go somewhere further out and then they end up getting in trouble <clears throat> i think she wanted that to not fall on the spear hero so she was charging all of them so let's say if you want to leave, you would literally have to pay 50 silver coins to leave. So now, instead of you leaving, you're straight up inside the village, not spending money. You know, you can't leave. And then when stuff goes down and you're getting attacked and you're about to be hurt, you already didn't spend money to be able to leave. So the only time these people could probably leave is if there is an attack happening and... Uh, you know, everybody's too busy fighting to pay attention, uh, for free anyway. The weird part of all of this is, it almost feel like this would be a good way to trick, uh, people into thinking the spear hero is even more of a hero than the shield one because he is sticking around type of deal, you know, like, oh, you guys were here when I saved you, you know, so clearly I'm a hero, um, <laughs> It's, it's just funny to me how all this stuff is playing out and one person trying to be himself is more heroic than someone who 
has someone on his side give him all the tips and tricks and information he probably wants about the kingdom that he asks for but if he doesn't ask about the right things it doesn't necessarily matter what he's learning if all the information he's gaining is from a lying manipulative woman or a lying manipulating princess I should say so I just hope the spear hero can be redeemed uh, I really don't think he can but hey I mean if they can make if they can make me hate these characters they might have a chance of making me like them again but I think they're just way better at making me hate stuff than like so that's a thing um, the one other thing about this show that I truly love is just the demeanor that this character has grown like the chip on his shoulder that he holds all these different things play such a fun role into watching his character interactions with anybody and if you don't care for that then I honestly don't know much of why you would like this show besides the action and I guess the cute raccoon girl um, seeing how I think there's a lot of lewd pictures going out of her so can you stop touching the raccoon girl? She's still fresh to me, and I don't need to see all your lewd list to her. All right? All right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're so close to probably the next wave next uh, next week that either the wave's going to start up or we're probably just going to see uh, another episode where we kind of get things flushed out. We kind of learn more about the character more about the town the people and then we'll get an announcement about the wave which will start uh, the week prior to that one so that's just my um guess with how the show kind of goes sometimes like this show is this episode is all about racing and um trying to help a small village out not be ruled by someone who literally wouldn't be ruling them but someone else who is on his squad would be ruling them um, these are the types of things that are happening, um, that need to be stopped anyway, in the sense of, um, Nagami showing up and actually trying to help these people compared to someone who's just trying to take advantage of them when you have the power of the king to pretty much, uh, signed off on any paper, so... To see the queen getting involved and actually wanting to stop everything the princess is doing, maybe for the king, um, it tells me that there's a quite a big of a sh uh, power struggle. Uh, not to mention, the queen's people are way more tactical and ninja-like than the kings, who are these people in heavy arm like armor and got spells to hasten someone's speed or slow down someone's speed you know these these spells seem relatively um uh, picked up for a reason you know like they have these these exact people who could do these exact spells here for a reason so <clears throat> expect more stuff like this to come in this type of show because man do i hate the main girl that's the princess and I can, I, I just have a feeling in my bones that she'll be around for quite a bit of time. So I might as well get used to it now while I still can. <laughs> um, but the guy who really helped us this week was the villager who is pretty much allowing us to have a trading business now. So not only will our team be going out, leveling up, fighting monsters and waiting for the wave to come, but they could become a trade where they're going out and actually meeting more and more people every single day that might be willing to help him unconditionally because they're meeting him under their own rules and not under the rules that the king set themselves and i think that's where we're going to see all of the friendships and partnerships start blooming because even in this week's episode with the shield hero knowing that he's done all these good deeds and knowing that he's helped all these people he was still very surprised to see them actually want to help him, actually give him things to be helpful. Uh, for instance, the Grimlarn this week, it was because she saved someone's grandson, you know? So it's like everything he's doing, he did it because he wanted to. 
and now it's coming back and paying him back a lot more than he probably would have ever expected. So it's stuff like that that make this show very, very enticing to watch because I have a feeling they know exactly the right buttons to push at times to make us feel like the character is growing in the sense of trust and the sense of the villagers actually treating him like a human or even like a hero so this show is absolutely amazing i could go on for hours and hours talking about it so if you do want to talk to me any more that i didn't get to talk about in this video definitely hit me up in the comments make sure you subscribe because i'll be dropping all the videos of this whole entire show throughout the uh series in this season for instance and if another season comes i will definitely be hopping back on it no homo um but yeah we are in for a ride we got a new teammate that's maybe cuter than our old one and I think she knows it, <laughs> um, including waking up and seeing how she was in this week's episode with her tiny little wings. Oh, so thank you. Uh, but yeah, my anime people, we are in for a treat with this show. All of the controversy that I'm hearing about this show is the classic. I want attention. Look at me. I'm pointing out the obvious looking stuff. So don't really pay it any mind and i bet you you'll just you'll forget about it because at this point anime has been doing things their own way for quite some time and to think that if there was a group of people that continuously try to stop an anime from using creativity because because remember this we watch shows like criminal minds and shows about killers and dexter and all this stuff that people actually will copy because they've seen it in these shows now you come to an anime and they talk about all these things that are actually happening uh you know in the world and that's real and then when they when people hear about it they shy away from it and they're like oh that doesn't need to be in an anime and this and that's like well but we could watch a crime show that's literally telling me about little Susie who got freaking ganged up on by grown men and taken into, you know, prostitution and stuff like that. But we can't talk about one scene of a girl false accusing someone of doing something to her and then it not even being shown that that happened. And we're still treating it as if the person who created the story, a.k.a. a woman is a, a criminal or like just terrible for writing this type of uh, story or having this even type of opinion to put in a story. That's the stuff that makes me mad about the community that <clears throat> is trying to hop on any bandwagon of, oh, this is bad and here's why. It's like, well, you're also bad and here's why. I can give you a whole, way more reasons why what you're saying about an anime is way worse than what you're saying about other stuff that's clearly more influential than anime. I could don't get me started on the Kardashians, okay? <laughs> but I'm not here for that, my anime people. That's for the comments. That's for the Discord. That's for all the other stuff that I don't do on this channel. Because if I get into that on this channel, I will probably get hate. But it won't matter because the hate doesn't break me. Um... I'm not going to say it makes me either, but uh, the hate just <laughs> makes my point that much stronger. If people are going out of their way to get mad at me for something I said that is honest and can be proven to be right, then clearly they're not, they're not going to learn anything from the way that they're carrying themselves or learning that whatever they see might not be the best. But hey. That's why I want to start my own community. That's why I want to talk to people and see how you guys feel about it in my community. So we can talk it out and have an understanding about it if we really want to. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. And I will talk to you in the next one. Because um, Wednesdays are pretty dry days. And to think that one of the greater animes are coming out on a Wednesday is absolutely shocking. Um, so... 
If there is something I can find to throw out, I might do that later on tonight. So make sure you have that notification bell ring a ding dinged on and also just drop a comment or drop a like and that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So with that, my anime people, talk to you in the next one and I hope you guys have an awesome day slash night. Um... But yeah, I will, oh, and check out my Twitch, I got some content on there, if you guys haven't seen me play certain games, I got those games on Twitch, uh, saved up for like a couple of days, so, if we do get a lot of people on my Twitch account, those videos could stay up a lot longer for free, where you guys don't even have to, you guys should just tune into it if you miss my stream and watch it later, so, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next one, alright? Peace.